Hello again, for those of you that have seen my first Rocket Mill moment, you'll have heard me talking about organizing your data structure and creating a database strategy. In that talk, I also gave a promise that I will come back and talk to you about getting insight from your data. And as a man of my word, I'm here today to fulfill that. Getting insight from data shouldn't always be a eureka or a light bulb moment involving mathematics and statistics and crazy graphs and things like that. It's actually best to start with something simple. In the case of customer databases, simple might mean something like the age of your customer or the gender or where they are. That sounds really, really easy, but actually it tells you something quite powerful. Who is your customer and where to find more of them? Once you've got something quite simple in place, you can start doing some more complex analysis. So you could look at interactions. Now interaction might be something soft, like what they're doing on social media, how they're liking things, how they're sharing things. You might also want to look at something a bit harder, like a transaction. So looking at how people are purchasing, when are they purchasing, how much are they spending, what are they buying. It's also important not to lose the fact that you've just got a bit more than quantifiable data within your database as well. Text analytics is gaining a lot of traction and has become quite big over the past few years. Text analytics is really useful if you've got free text information. So that might be a call center data set, what people have said to you, or the transcript of a call center phone call that you're getting from a customer. It might also be something like survey responses or what they've said about you and your brand on social media. Text analytics is also really useful if you've got your own communication to a customer. So that might be, what are you saying in your emails? What words are driving conversion? What subject lines are driving better conversion rates? Once you've got all of this information together, you'll probably start seeing some groups or segments forming within your database. So those groups might be, or might start with something quite simple, high value customers versus low value customers. So for a high value customer, how much more are they spending or contributing to your brand? What's the difference in their lifetime value? Obviously segmentations can be a lot more complex than that. And if you want to find out more, you'll have to come back for my third moment. <laughs>